Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to go through all of my art supplies, sort out what I want to keep, what I want to give away, and then um, that's basically going to be it. Hopefully it's going to go well and it's not going to be too hard. So what I'm going to do with the stuff I don't want to keep is that I'm going to give it away. I've decided 2019 is going to be my year of giving. Depending on how much stuff I end up with at the end of this video, I'm going to either do monthly or bi-monthly giveaways, I think. Giveaways are going to happen all of this year. I, I'm still waiting on my 2.5k subscribers giveaway. I really thought it would happen last year because I was on such a, on such a roll in spring, but it sort of just tapered off and I never hit that mark. So I still have the stuff from my 2.5k giveaway, but I think I'm still going to save that particular stuff for that actual giveaway because it's such a... It's one of my milestones. It's one of my milestones. So yeah, I'm gonna start going through my stuff uh, box by box and we'll see what we end up with. Uh, so let's see, let's start with, I have these Ikea boxes, just white boxes that I've filled a set of drawers on the desk that I need to go through. Okay, so these are my giveaway palettes. No, it went well. These are obviously, uh, they're being given away, but um, that was already planned. So those, oh, I need a pile. Where can I put the stuff I need to give away? Ideally I should have a box. Okay, I have a box. So let's see, these palettes go in there. And then what else do we have? We have my gel pens. My gel pens are keeps, because I love them. How do I tell which is which? Oh well, uh, they're gel pens. I'm keeping all my gel pens regardless. These are also, these are my Muji fine liners. I'm also keeping those. Uh, so there we go. Um, <laughs> I held on to my grave Spectrum Nora markers, but I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Here's the thing. If I ever miss them, I can just buy a whole new set. Uh, Sharpies are also going because I used them once, twice maybe. And, um, yeah, I just, I have water-based felt tip markers that work just as well. And I actually, these are probably reserved because there was someone who said they wanted them. So, uh, so that's that. Okay. Gel pens go back in the box. Uh, so that's that box. Let's put that to the side. Next one. Ooh, let's see. These are water-based markers. Uh, they're fine-tipped. Oh, they're by the Green Sisters. And I bought them on a whim, which I am regretting right now. So um, they're going in the giveaway pile because I have those. Uh, and these are the Stettler. Uh, felt tip. No, Stabilo. Sorry, Stettler. Sure. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch. I like them. Uh, Posca markers are definitely staying, so I can just put all of this back in here, actually. Um, like so. So that's the last box. Next one. Acrylics and China markers. It's a crayon, uh, but it's more oily. I'm keeping those. Then I have my acrylics. And I don't use them much. I'm not going to give those away. Uh, and it's just a small set. I can always change my mind later. This is the last of the big boxes, of the small boxes. A uh, stamping pad. Um, these things are not supposed to be in here, but I donated my, my stuff bowl that I usually have on my desk. I donated that to the Christmas candy and the Christmas candy is still there. <laughs> so I just have to wait for that bowl to be empty so I can put all of that stuff back in there. I already mentioned before that I'm keeping color pencils, watercolor pencils, uh, and watercolor. So these are the polychromos, keeping them. These are my settler. Uh, carrot aquarels, keeping those because they're watercolor pencils, and these are the ink tents. I have more over here, um, keeping those. 
So yeah, this is all just going back in here. It did. Okay. And then I have two bigger boxes here that I don't think I have art supplies in, but we're gonna look in them just to be sure. No, they're most. It's mostly just stuff. I do have drawing charcoal, but I'm keeping that in case I'm ever doing any art courses or art classes again, because usually they want you to have charcoal for that. Um, I have, no, I don't have anything uh, art stuffy in here. I found all of my earbuds. That's good to know that they're in there. What is this? Oh, that's one thing. My pencil pocket brush. I don't use that at all, and there is a cartridge in here. Where is the pocket brush, though? I'm going to have to find the pocket brush. So I'm putting the cartridge in there. That's that. And then I have one more box. That was those boxes. Now I'm going to go through my little double drawer over here. Those are mostly watercolors. So I'm going to pull out both. Just, uh, let's see. Let's go with the bottom one first because there isn't a lot of stuff in here. It's mostly paper. Um, ruler. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to remove here. Yeah, no, that bottom drawer was a bus. Anyway, I don't think, because this is mostly watercolor, I don't think there's a lot I can give away in here either. Not on this uh, thing I need to keep. Loose tubes. Ink. Should I give away my ink? Yes, let's give that away. I don't use it. And since I don't use the ink, I can give away the pens I bought for that. Um... So you got a couple of different nibs, and you got this, which is just sort of a, it's a, it feels like an eraser, but basically you just use that to push the, the nibs in so you don't, poke. I actually stabbed myself in the finger the first time I tried to mount one of these because I'm stupid. Uh, so that all goes in there. This is just like pearly dimensional paint and uh, designer gouache. That one actually doesn't feel okay. I'm gonna give it a squeeze. It might have separated because I use it so little. Oh, it it has hardened. That's that's great. I do have actual gouache now, so um, that can stay in there. Keeping what is this? This is a palette I'm giving away because while I was doing my Christmas calendar, a lot of the colors I got, about half of them actually, were duplicates, which I was expecting because I have. I already have most of the basic colors you need, but there were a few that I didn't have, and uh, I really like the expression to my collection. So there's an entire Schmincke Academy aquarelle palette that I will be giving away. What else we have? This is the Winsor Newton palette. Mm, it can stay for now. So that's that drawer. Uh, let's see. Okay. Watercolors. The Shinhan. Watercolors, the Green Sisters, these, well, I'm keeping them. I'm considering doing more watercolor palettes just to give away, um, give people a chance to try out watercolors. And here we have palettes and my gouache. And yes, I did have a white. So you know what? I am throwing out that designer gouache. It is not going to be worth the trouble, and it's at least five years old now. There. In the trash it goes. One less thing to worry about. Okay, so there was nothing in those bags that I could deal with. I was wondering where those had gone. Because I was going to give those away as well. Uh, they are the Faber-Castell Aquarelle pencils that I got in my pen store uh, gift, not gift bag, mystery bag. Winsor Newton pigment markers. The marker pads I'm using are over there, so they're going to stay there uh, out of the way. Oh, you see what we have a couple. See, I don't think, at least not this one. Let's have a look at this one first. Um, extra washi tape. You know what? I don't, I don't use them fast enough. So these are also being given away in some kind of. Maybe I could do a bullet journal set. That would be fun. Ooh. Okay. So reserves. Let's see. This one feels more like. Yeah, this is probably not okay. the weights for my mouse. Obviously using half of them. So there. 
here we go. Let's see, this is usually um, extras that I have duplicates of. Um, these two are fake. I have gel pens. I have so many gel pens. I don't need this many. I'll keep one and give the other two away. These are also duplicates. I'll give those away. Um, lots of white gel pens. I'll keep those two and give this one away. I've barely used this one. I'll keep one and give one away. There they are. I've actually been pretty good about using those. Okay, that warrants keeping. Keeping. They haven't bled all over the place, so I'm, I'm going to give those two away, even though they're fake. I'm obviously going to disclose that they're fake um, when I do the giveaway. I have a pencil case over here as well. Oh, fluorescent Spectrum Noir marker. Stettler Fine Liner. More. I think these are quote unquote broken, like I've smushed in the tips. This one is. Yeah, that one is definitely smushed. You can't even... It It is almost gone. That one actually goes in the trash then. There we go. Pencil pocket brush that I'm not using. And I did find the cartridge, so that one is given away. Art line. This one, it doesn't look smushed. I'm going to have to do some pen tests on these. This one I barely used. Uh, these are probably also, yeah, smushed and smushed that one? No, that one might be okay let's check it out this is a bad gel pen it's a pilot g207 like it doesn't highlight properly it does very it fades um, give away also give away because i won't lose it okay i need a piece of paper Okay, so this is the Unipin 0.1. It's actually good. I just think I stopped using it. So that one goes in the giveaway. This is the 03. That one is actually also good, but I think if I, yeah, if I tip it, it doesn't work because I've smushed in the tip. So you'd have to basically work it like this. Uh, that one goes in the trash. We have a Pigma Micron 05. This one also looks fake, but it's very smushed in. Yeah, it is completely smushed in, so I think, I don't think it's fake, I think I broke it. This one, I think I've used up, I just haven't had the, yeah, it is, uh, it's one of those I've smushed into. I'm very heavy handed when I draw. Oh, let's see. This one looks okay but it might be fake. Um, it looks okay, it seems fine, so I'm gonna give that away. Gosh, this is the art line. Um, this one is either on its way to being used up because I used that a lot during October in 2017, uh, and the tip is also kind of smushed, so trash it goes. I know I'm throwing away a lot of sort of um, okay art supplies, but I'm not going to use them and I don't want to give away um, trash, basically. That was all of those boxes. Let me put these back. That was a pencil case. I'll give this away. Oh, speaking of pencil cases to give away, didn't I have big, ginormous pencil cases here somewhere? This is a giant pencil case I used for a while. Come on, let me go. Uh, I had a lot of my um, a lot of my ink tens in here. There's room for 70 unique or 70 pencils in these, and then there is that one special pocket in the front with like one bigger hoop and some other stuff. So you, it's a big it's a big case. That one goes in the giveaway. Um, this one is a little bit of a mixed bunch. Let's see. These I'm obviously keeping because they're my mechanical pencils. These I really liked, so I'm keeping those there. Um, another mechanical pencil. 
these are new. Um, I found them at my local uh, bookstore. They keep a lot of art, supp uh, art supplies, no, but journaling supplies. And uh, they're kind of like uh, the souffle, sakura souffle. They're called the sara sarasa. Uh, and they're, they're by zebra. Uh, same goes with these. I actually found, <laughs> I found mild liners. Like, Jesus freaking Christ, I found my liners. My blue one is over by the computer because that's where I sit and do my bullet journaling. So those I'm keeping. Glitter pens that were fun for a while, but I haven't used a lot lately. Do I have anything else glitter penny like this? I don't. Okay, this is actually getting hard. Well, I'm indecisive about it, so I'm keeping them, and then I can revisit them later. These give away because I won't be using them. These duplicates that I got in the pen store thing, so giving away. This was also one of those things. I didn't have my art supplies with me, and I went somewhere, and then I wanted to draw, and I bought stuff. Liners are good to have, though. So I'm keeping it, but I'm not putting it back in that one. Is that for those? It's supposed to be like that. Okay. Um, oh, this one is mostly tools. This is another one of those interesting ones. Let's see. Um, gel pen. This one I'm keeping. This black end is completely dead, but the gray one still works, so I'm keeping it for that. Uh, my China markers. Wait a second. No, never mind. Tombow Fudenosuke. The Stabilo liner. The Koi coloring brush pen in blushy color. Um, this one. I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be called. It's a it's a Micron PN. I'd never seen that before, so I just bought it to try it out, and it's it's like the Fudenosuke things like it's got a sort of plastic mm, it's interesting um mechanical pencil these are my gel liners and i'm concerned they don't work anymore because i've had them at work so i need to try them out to make sure i'm not keeping dead pens let's see you work you don't you're not used up, you're just broken. The thing is, I drop my pens a lot. And, uh, yeah, you're not empty. And uh, what it does, it sort of damages the the ball in the ballpoint. So they sort of, they work fine one way, and then you try to do something, and it doesn't work at all. Because you've sort of, you've dented the ball. <sighs> Trash. This one is also broken. No, it is broken somewhere, yeah. Definitely broken somewhere. Mm. This one. Oh, this one is also bleeding, so it's definitely broken. Is this one bleeding? It's not. Is this one bleeding? It's not. Okay, those two are keepers because they're not bleeding. Uh, some of my test pens. I have more in my pencil case. They are the... Derwent Color Soft and the Derwent Studio. Let's see, Winkastella. Winkastella, no, it's the Crystal Clear by Spectrum Noir Sparkles. Um, eraser. That's the Winkastella one. It actually started working better, uh, so I'm thinking it would just. It was just cold. Uh, and then I have all of these. I'm actually going to give these away. These were the moleskin. Uh, just regular pencils. I'm gonna give those away. And these are basic pencils. Again, if I ever take another drawing course, uh, I'll keep them for that. I did get some use out of them. Some of them. And this one I'm keeping just because it's, it's, it's just a pencil. You can never have enough pencils. Okay. There. I think that's it. Oh gosh, okay. Um, those two can't go. That one can't go. Let's need a sketchbook paper. And then it's my watercolor paper, but I am keeping those. Okay, let's see. This one I'm pretty sure I've already, yeah, I've already used that, so it goes on the side. These are my handmade ones. Maybe I should give those away. 
can always make more. Mmm, unsure. This is a new one that I bought because it was cute. I'm not sure if I'll ever use this. This is the, from those Tilda that I used for a very long time. They're nice and small. The only thing I don't like is that they're very yellow. Like, case in point. Printer paper and this paper. Um, I don't know. You can see I'm having trouble with the sketchbooks. My Achilles heel. This was a gift. These are also ones I've made. These are a little more nice though. And this one you could decorate yourself. I'm giving these two away because I've had them long enough. And uh, I'll give this away. Oh, this is one of those cheap tiger sketchbooks. It's cheap and cheap. But it was from Tiger, Flying Tiger. And um, this is going to be very futile. This is that small one I got in the pen store thing. Rainbow paper I bought because it was cute. I'm never going to draw in this, so give away. Um, I made a mini one. I haven't used that either. I even put some uh, decorations on it. Give away. Yeah, these small ones I'm never going to draw in, so I'm just going to make sure I actually haven't drawn in them. Oh, that one is swatched. Okay, well, oh, it's this one that I've drawn in. Keeping that one, giving this one away. Yeah. <laughs> All of this here is new, and I think, yeah, this one is blank. Uh, this one is blank. Oh, these are lined. They're not supposed to be there. I guess they're all lined. Oh, and that one was dot gridded. I still have a lot left, but I did get rid of five. So I'm forgiving myself for that. Speaking of being forgiving, but this is the year I'm going to finish sketchbooks because I have put myself in a very bad spot. There's supposed to be one more. Here. Here. I have five active sketchbooks right now. This one needs to be finished because it's from 2017, the beginning. So I've had that one for almost two years now. This one is also, that's middle of 2016, so that's two and a half years. So um, yeah, those two are a priority. And then this one will probably go. Uh, because I'm drawing in this now, and then this was the one I was supposed to use for December. And I've started it, but I obviously haven't finished it. This one was one of those sketchbook I, sketchbooks I bought uh, because I didn't have my art supplies with me and I wanted to draw. So that one is also started priority, and then this will just have to be dealt with. Keeping too many sketchbooks can also be paralyzing. Think about that. This is what we ended up with. Uh, quite a lot, actually, which I'm happy about. Uh, I'll go through and sort of them in my own time. There was something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah, and the marker paper for the pigment markers is over, over yonder. Uh, but, yeah, look forward to some giveaways this year. I think it's going to turn out to be bi-monthly. Yeah. I'm going to assume bi-monthly, so expect a giveaway in either at the end of this month or the middle of February. February. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching this. This has probably been a long-winded video, but I miss talking to you guys, and I had a lot to say, and apparently a lot to get rid of. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, until next time. Keep on scribbling, friends. Bye.